Hi guys, uh, just a quick vid on ways that you can make leads more interesting and expressive. Uh, I'll play you this one I made in context of a track that I was working on. So yeah, that's the sound. Um, to hear it on its own. So yeah, it's a simple sound, but it makes a change from the usual sort of super souls. So I'm gonna show you how I made it. Let's just get all this stuff off the screen. Okay, so let's create a new patch. And what we want to do is click default, go to analog, then basic shapes, and then scroll through this wave table position until we get to this one, which is like a pulse wave. So now what we can do is go to the warp mode and Turn on pulse width modulation. And now we can assign the set of area one to the pulse width. So about there for now. And the rate of the LFO is set to about two bars. And then you can click on the folder, go to basic, and then choose sign. So now this is what kind of what we got. So it's just this is what's creating the movement. The movement is the pulse width modulation. So it just adds more movement and more interest to the sound. We can tweak this later. Just. Right, so another thing you can do to make the leads more interesting is uh, set an envelope to the pitch. So let's do that. Attack all the way down, sustain all the way down, release all the way down. Sign that to the course pitch. Go into the matrix, set that to about an octave. So we have this sort of video game lasery sound. So what we can do is tune this decay knob. So it kind of adds a bit of interest to the start of the sound, to the uh, to the attack of the sound. It makes it pop out. Um, and now what we can do is make this monophonic because we don't want more than one note playing at a time. And then turn the port up about 25. So the notes tend to slide into each other. Um, and now if we go to LFO2, Turn the rate up to 1 over 16. And then go into the matrix. Go to LFO2. And then here where it says destination, click, go to global, then go to master tune. Now we can drag this up to about 6, 5 or 6. So we've got that Pac-Man sort of sound. 
<coughs> but we don't want it that intense so one thing you can do is first as I put is turn this down so that's all right <coughs> that, that kind of makes it more sort of like more interesting uh, now what we want to do is we don't want this vibrato to start straight away so we want it to come in after we want it to sort of come in on longer notes not the short notes so to do that we want to get out of envelope free and turn the sustain no, I think yeah turn the sustain leave the sustain as it is for now turn the release down um, and turn the attack up to about 800 or so and now what we can do is go where it says aux source click and scroll down to out of it envelope free so now what will happen is <coughs> the uh, LFO will follow this envelope uh, curve so we won't hear the vibrato straight away but we can tune this attack to taste that sounds cool um, and then obviously we can tweak this this is like these are the things I always tend to do when I'm making a lead especially if it's uh, for dubstep or glitch hop or those kind of styles so we'll go to the effects tab don't want the hyper on just turn up the mix on the dimension and turn the size down a bit which just makes it a bit bigger uh, now we can put on some reverb just turn the mix down and this low cut needs to go up a bit Uh, turn on the compressor. What? Let's make it multiband. Threshold down a bit. So that this uh, multiband compressor makes it kind of it kind of like brings out the high end more. So I like a little bit of that on my leads to just make some pop out more. <coughs> Another thing we can do is turn on the delay. Make sure it's after the um, compressor. Ping pong. Turn the mix down a bit. Just kind of adds more space to the lead. Um, so yeah that's that's the basics i mean you could you could layer in another oscillator if you want a more sort of unique texture you could layer in white noise but that's that's the basics of how i made that lead and how i would go about um making lead sounds more interesting and more uh, sort of expressive or just rather than sort of static sounding souls, uh, soul waves, super souls. So if, if that was helpful, um, please like and subscribe. Thanks.